Hi folks, hope everyone's doing well today. It is the 5th of the 9th, 2019. Um, we're just coming into our spring. And I'm just getting ready to set up in this area here, my hydroponics system. And it will go all the way down to the back of the yard back there. Now, I'm a little behind, it should have been already set up, but as in previous, the previous video, I've had a few family problems that we needed to sort out. And now I'm back to getting this going. Now this is going to be my fish tank, which is a IBC that I'm currently working on. Now, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm hot gluing um, this stuff on. Insula it's um, padding and insulation. What I've done is I've got onto a air conditioner contractor and got some of the off cuts of their insulation that they throw out. And what I've done is I've split it down one side and opened it up and now I'm hot gluing it to the IBC for insulation. So I'll hot glue that on there, and then what I'll do from there is I'll bring this down, hot glue that on there, work my way around the IBC until I get back here and hot glue the last bit onto there, onto here. And that will be my insulation. Um, I'll show you when I put it back together how I got it out and that type of stuff and cleaned it with a pressure washer inside and out. Bit of grass on the bottom from being out on the grass when I did it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off um, gluing all this on. Once I've finished off that part I'll get back to you and show you where I'm going from there. Uh, fitting it back into the steel cage um, and yeah setting it up uh, originally I was going to paint this but it just seemed a bit messy when I could get this stuff to hot glue on there which is more insulation and it was going to be dark enough for the fish to go in anyway so I'll get back to you when I've finished gluing this on folks I shall see you later Okay, I've hot glued the insulation on all four sides and top. This is what I've done. That's the insulation that I've cut in half. It was originally round for evaporative cooler roofing, and I've hot glued it on. What I'm going to do is get a bit of pipe around here and hold that on with pipe connecting it all up that's my fish tank with insulation on it and almost finished the next bit will be to put it back into its steel cage so I'm going to get the cage back out and fit it back into the cage. Okay, I've got the steel cage out, lined up. What I'm gonna attempt to do is slide it back in. Hopefully, and then my fish tank is back into its steel cage. Um, wish me luck. I shall see you on the other side and hopefully I've got it back in to where it should be. Okay, successfully, I successfully put it back in. No trouble, just slid back in. Um, as you can see. So that's how I put the insulation around my fish tank. The hot glue was just to help it stay there while I put it on, as you can see. 
no tears, no nothing, worked well. Now what I'm going to do is this shade cloth, which is about 100% shade. I'm going to wrap around the three main sides, so this side, that side and the far side of it. That gives me my shade from the front when it's sitting over in that back corner over there. And the front of it will be in the shade. I will be adding a bit more shade so the sun's not on it all the time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to put the shade cloth on. Now how I'm going to do that is we're going to turn this thing over on its side. Like that. So it's over on its side. Pick the shade cloth up. Bring it around this way. Put it over it like that. Like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ties and actually tie it tie it to the rafter there. So I'll go grab my ties and I'll be right back. Okay, this is basically what I'm doing is I'm using ties to tie it up and it will be on the three sides that need shade and that's what I've done on the back end. To the back. So that's how it works. And I'll finish it off and then show you the finished bit. And I think that will be it for me today. And I will start tomorrow on cleaning up over there. And getting that organised for the fish tank to go in there. So I'll finish this off and I'll get back to you folks. Okay, that's how the sides are going to look with the shade cloth on it. I'm just using zip ties to hold the shade cloth on. I haven't done the back yet, but I think what I cut off the top, I'll put on the back. Tomorrow I will trim all this up. So trim all that up nice and tight. Around there. And here. So I'll trim all that up. Put the water like that on. This bar, this bar actually goes back in here. Like that, so that will screw back in there. And whatever I trim off, I'll put on the back of it just for the sake of putting it on. It's going to be in a shade, but I'll just put it on so it looks a bit better. And from there, I'll get some pipe and cut down the middle. And I'll put pipe around here to hold all that on nicely. So it all looks nice and neat. Okay folks, that's it for today. I shall Okay, basically what I'm doing for the lid sides is I can see here some pipe cut just to finish it off nice and neat in here. So can't cut yourself, do anything like that, it's all nice and neat. So I'm just using a bit of water pipe. Cutting it with a jigsaw down the middle and then using a heat gun where that bit using a heat gun 
and expanding the pipe by pushing this pipe which is a not sure whether that's inch maybe um, just to push it in and expand it a bit so it pushes over the edge the edge of the actual pipe and I'll just heat it up with a heat gun push that in it expands it let it cool and it gives me a little bit of room so I can push it on just to make the top of the tank a bit neater so I'm going to finish this off and I'll show you that last bit I'll do that last bit for you so you can see I do with the heat gun and that and get that done so I'm just going to do that and I'll sure be back Okay folks, what we're trying to do is we're trying to do this, get that gap opened up so it makes it easier to go on the fish tank. I've done half, the other half I haven't done, I'll do this half to show you, show you this half how it actually goes, how it works. It's not that hard to do, all you got to do is get yourself a heat gun. Heat it up. Doesn't take much heat in the pipe to do it. So you just keep heating it up. Got the returns is probably fine. Now that should be hot enough and all I do from there is I open the pipe up so you hold it you open it up like this so it's open you push this other pipe in like that see how that's going in and then you just push it all the way so all the way to there and what I do from there is I just whack some more heat on it and that's heating it up enough That's heated it up enough that when it cools it will stay there. So basically when you do it, you cut your pipe down the middle. You find something that's a little bit bigger than your pipe to push it on, heat it up and push it on. That's basically what I've been doing to cover the top of my sides of my fish tank. Okay, so I'll get back to you when I'm putting it on. It will cool. It's probably getting cool enough, we'll just wait for a little bit longer. But um, this is the easiest way I've found to do it, is you just do it like that folks. And you shouldn't have any problems, it's pretty easy to do. Um, yep, that's cool enough, so all I do is I get this edge, pull it back over the pipe. So it will take a little bit of force to put it back over the pipe and then it just slides out like that and that's it there you have your open you have that open in there so it's all open again and that's all you gotta do so I'll get back to you when I'm putting them on okay what I've done is I've finished off expanding my pipe to fit on under here and basically what I do is I just push the pipe on onto it like that 
so it stays on there. So it sits there like that. So what I'll do is I'll do this. It's not that hard to push the pipe on, it's pretty simple. You just gotta give it a little bit of help in some places. pipes on like that and what you do is you just shake clock when it's sitting like this you use a screwdriver and you hold your pipe here and just push your shake clock underneath so yeah the shake clock goes underneath that sits there nice and firm and you just keep going along like that so it gets to the edge and you've got a nice tidy finish on it then I'll just adjust this a bit more so you can see that's how it looks not done so what I do is I'll finish off this. Once I finish this, this will be the finish of the fish tank for now. And I'll go on to doing the swirl filter for it. So basically that's all you gotta do. In there, under there. Done, finished. That's basically how I've finished off the top of my fish tank edges. Um, now it's neat and tidy. I'll give you a look around it. So basically what I've done to the top is I've put this hole back in, the one that I took out that holds this back of it up nice and firm and I've finished off all the edges with piping so it's all neat and tidy so that's basically the end of my fish tank build for now as you can see it's all finished um, I'm not going to put a lid on it I'll put a lid on it once I start cycling. I haven't done the back of this with shake cloth because I don't need to. Where it's going to go, that's going to be in the shade 24-7. So basically that's the end of the fish tank. I hope everyone got something out of it. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Tell me if I've done it right or if I've done anything wrong, please let me know. Um, anything else you'd like to know put it in the comments and I shall get back to you um, I will be posting a lot of videos from now on I've got everything sorted out so I hope you have a very nice day folks and I shall see you next video bye